Hey guys, I want to read a scripture, share one thing, show you one little clip of something, and then I got something else I'm going to clip in after it. Um, so anyways, rep, um, Hebrews chapter 12 and uh, verse, let's read 25 through 29. See that you refuse not him that speaketh, for if they escaped not, who refused him that spake on earth, much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven, whose voice then shook the earth, whose voice then shook the earth. But now he hath promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. Oh Lord. And this word, yet once more, signifieth the, re the removing, removing of things that are shaken, as of things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. The little bride who cannot be shaken. But God is shaking things. I want to share something with you. Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace, whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. For our God is a consuming fire. Now, something happened. You know, this ministry is a pro prophetic ministry the Lord has raised up in this time to do this work for the Lord. Now, I, I'm i going to screenshot to show you, to verify, to show you what, what, what has took place. And there's a, a, a pastor, a uh, former pastor, not a message of the hour pastor, okay, from Florida, right? Uh, got into a dialogue on the phone the other day. And uh, brought up some things about what's going on within the world, the, the, the turmoil that's going on in the earth right now, in the, in the world around us. And his reaction was quickly, oh, it's just a lie. It's all fake. No, don't believe that. Blah, 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 blah. This is the same man who, who has told me how he has used his marketing skills. And he's a good, he's, for a businessman, he's good, Right? To fit into the spirit of the world and the admiration of men and his own pride that look how look I'm number one, look how good I am, look at me, right? That stubborn uh, spirit that gets upon among certain types of men who get caught up in money and their own their own their own popularity. They like the attention, they're attention seekers, they need constant approval of other people. So they build it, they like it, they love it, and they create an idolatry around their own life, and then they, they put off their false narrative, their false doctrines, their false teachings, and the list goes on, okay? So I begin to share with this man as from, from the, the prophecies and things that are taking place, bringing up things, and start telling the man of literal video footage. We're not talking just... Uh, Watching the news, we're talking people who have, who I who I am connected to somebody who knows somebody, and the list goes on. You know, it's just it's sad to see the condition of people in the church, and people in the message of the hour, the condition I see it's in, all these things that's going on. So, he begins to challenge it, and quickly the Lord begins to step in, and I and I, you know. There was a God. There was a boldness I felt in that conversation to come right back because typically I've been kind of uh, nice to the guy and, and 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 letting him have his space. You know, kind of, he's the kind of person you got to pet him, you got to make him, you got to constantly baby and make him feel good, right? He, that's what he likes. Okay, you're the man. You're the man. You know, you're the best, right? Um, so I I began to quote scriptures to him and talk to him, and we and, and obviously he believes in the Trinity. He believes in the fault. He's a part of that 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 false church movement that's going on. Okay. So, anyways, I, all I want to say is is here in a second. I'm going to splice. I want to show you so you guys can see this. Okay. 
July 29th, which is August 6th right now. Um, I haven't released it on my channel yet. See, every person who's come against this ministry has brought judgment on their lives. And God is protecting this ministry because it was raised up by the hand of God in this hour. To do this work, because it, and I'm going to, in a minute, I'm at the end, I'm going to splice in some, th uh, some preaching from, actually from, well, you'll see, you'll see here in a minute. Um, every person who's come against this ministry, and this channel has contained, God is using this ministry to bring the mind of God for this hour, to bring the word of the Lord to, to, to against the church in its condition, especially within the message of the hour. Okay? Now, this man runs his mouth, right? And uh, so, on July 29th, I preached a message, and I'm going to screenshot it. I tell you right now, I'll screenshot it, the image, so you can see it. I'm going to release that message on this channel. Monday's a message that's releasing that was, that was very... Personally, more powerful than what I'm going to share with you right now, okay? Personally, the revelation that God gave to me and the experience I had up in the, up in the room, the same room with the, the December 29th prophecy that God had me speak publicly of the judgment angels being released in the land, and I've been continually showing to this channel what's going on, time videos from all, over, all kinds of sources to bring, to continue to keep the people, to sound the warning, right? Sound the warning, So there's something that happens, the message you're going to see Monday, those who follow this ministry, sometimes I have spoken in tongues, and God gave me the revelation on that. Oh, it's powerful. The experience that took place, on, but I'm going to release that first on Monday, and then I'll release this Friday, this, the July 29th message. But I want to share this currently, okay? I'm going to take one little clip from one little video. It's about a minute long, and I'm going to splice it in. After I preach this message on July 29th, the scripture I just read to you is the main base of scripture of God shaking the heavens and the earth in the judgment time that we're in, right? So God is watching this ministry be rejected by the message of the hour and the church but their own prophet, William Branham, spoke of this of this ministry. But the thing is, I don't need I don't even need that vindication. When I first started this ministry, those things I needed to feel that. But the vindication is God's continual presence and continuing to everything he's having me speak and preach is coming to pass, and he's supernaturally putting his hand upon it. So that there's where my confidence, there's where my boldness comes from, because I know that the Lord is with me in this in this hour to do this work. And it's wonderful to see what Brother Man talked about different things. And above all, for me personally, the fact that God led me to scriptures and my and, and, and gave me my own experience to show me what my this ministry has given me, wrapping it back to scripture, to what God is having me do in this hour. Okay? Because message of the hour, and I'll say this real quick here. This is amazing. Yeah, there's a lot. You know, so a little update. You guys get an update from me. You know, the mo Monday will be more of a preaching. A week ago, folks, I got I, I had Facebook before, before. I deleted it last year. One that I'd had for years. So I have another one. Okay. I had 50, 59 Facebook friends. And the other day in the gym working out, I said, Lord... Is there the, the the dream you gave me as an eighteen year to eighteen year old young man of of my ministry and what I saw in that dream? I said, Lord, is there some kind of light at the end of this tunnel? That the beating I'm taking publicly for this ministry to defend the word of the Lord, to bring the mind of God for this hour, to bring judgment against these message preachers and pastors, especially Joseph Branham, and all these churches, and God is having me cry out against in this hour, for the word of the Lord, God, is there, is there a light at the end of the tunnel? That there'll be a, 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 an outpouring of people that, that God will, will use me to minister to 
to going down that final stretch. Folks, this is, I don't, I wake up, but the next day, my Facebook just blows up. Face friend request, friend request, friend request, friend request. I have over a thousand friends in less than a week. It's never happened in my life. You know, and in that what it's doing now is then it's it's suggesting to me all these other mostly African brothers, brothers from Pakistan, India, those that's really where this is growing. Because in my own country it's a it's a joke, you know? So, anyways, I just I want to share that. But let me let me go ahead now. I'm gonna splice in next. God had me speak the message on July 29th. Shaking the heavens and the earth. Again, another man, Florida. And since that time, one of the guys who follows my ministry, uh, who's been a good friend and a gym member for, for many years, and, you know, the other day texted me and said, hey, look at this. Here's a prophecy you talked about, and it looks some similar to what your prophecy was, that leprosy is now taking off in Florida. Coming, that travels through a, a rodent. Uh, armadillo has that same looking face okay so i said i'm definitely going to be have my eyes on that and also something else is breaking out in the land i think it's in california that's also connected back to a rodent see all this is brewing but there but there's a there's a there's a message coming soon and you you all will know when this takes place okay god is preparing me for something there's coming something soon and it'll be a message preached on this channel now, so I want to say all that to say this, that God is continuing. Everybody, there was the, the, the Jezebel from Texas that time. It's on my channel. When God shut her mouth, and after she, and Texas ran her mouth and called call me a false prophet, calling my prophecies false, Texas took, it for months, months, it was a, an insanity what would start happening with, in Texas. So keep running your mouth. God is vindicating this. In this hour, all these pastors got ten proof. That all that stuff's publicly been been displayed before before the eyes of the people. God has given one man a message in this hour to get people to see. And then there's another person yesterday running his mouth on a Facebook group, who who I didn't realize you know actually is a Facebook friend from another country. So I tell the man. You can you can talk you can type I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be contentious with you and argue I'm not gonna be this debating thing let's talk so then I know wait a minute I got he's my Facebook friend I try to call the man through through the uh, Facebook Messenger video chat will he receive my call no then I send him voice clips will he listen to him and respond no cowards there's cowardly men in this hour. Well, then you invest, then you finally take time to look at his Facebook group, and he's got a he's trying to help save cat. Oh, there's a missing cat. He's got his motorcycle. There's things you start to say. You know what? Now I see what spirit's going on here. Paul, look at what well, you're being judgmental. You don't know the mind of God. You don't know the level that God takes me up as an overseer to see things that you're not seeing. I'm seeing God has shown me things that many times you're not catching it. And I'm trying to tell you, down to the littlest things. Down to the littlest things. Even tell one of my brothers, get rid of that cat out of your house. They carry spirits. Little warnings. Ah, whatever. I ain't listening to you. The, the, the folks, these are the, the I am trying to give you the, the detailed mind of God in, in the hour and the time that we're at. Amen. In the condition of this message, with a bunch of rock stars and personalities and idolatry, amen, that God raised up a man to, who's been, since his, since his, left his mother's womb, has always been on a higher level, reaching for the stars, the, the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, to bring her up to that place, amen? As a lion roaring in the jungle, as the Bible prophesied and talked about, it would be taking place in this time. But when what's happened right before your eyes... You don't even see it. So I'm going to add in here in a minute. Your own prophet. Wait, your own prophet message of the hour. You know what? He's, God sent me Elijah. I hear what Brother Branham is saying. I catch the mind of God. 
And I see what he is saying and beyond and how God continues because he's the same yesterday. Hebrews 13, 8, today, today and forever. He don't change. Amen. So I'll splice in the picture now to show you verification that this message has already been preached. It's been downloaded. It'll be released. And then this, this, this little one minute video I will splice in next after that of what took place. What, what, what happened across the country after his prophet speaks the word against the Trinity false doctrine spirit? Mm -hmm. you're, you're not coming against me. I say this all the time. This ain't personal. I've said it a million times, I think, when I'm preaching. This is God's office. This is God's word. This is the absolute, the King James Bible. Any true prophet points you to one thing, Jesus Christ, the word. That's it. It's the absolute. Amen. Many of you all say, yeah, you, think, you say that's what you, you so-called claim, but you, you're letting all these other witchcraft spirits that come through the church, uh-huh, that come through leadership, that slip into your lives and slip into these pastors and slip through Jezebel and her narrative, and she wants to block the Holy Ghost, amen, and that's what's going on in your churches, amen, and that's why your church is a mess, but God always has one coming after it, amen. Hallelujah! Praise God. Amen? I'm going to splice it in now. And that's all i got to say. You'll see the picture. You'll see the little video. And then there are some things. There's a clip, clip, some clips from Brother, one of Brother Bram's sermon earlier I was listening to that I'm going to clip in here also. God bless you. Eastern United States, all the way from Florida. There's a bunch of people in Florida reporting it. I'll show you on this map where they're reporting it, and I'm going to show you in the comments on one of my videos where they're reporting it, as well as all the way up the coast and all the way out into out here in Texas. Let's see if this is one of them. Okay, there you go. Reported shaking. Okay, let's click this other one here. Let's click this one. Okay, now that's an earthquake there, right? That one is not. That is a reported shaking. Let's go over here. Reported shaking. Let's go right here. Reported shaking. Let's go up north. Reported shaking. Not an earthquake. Reported shaking. And when you look into the comments on these things, People are saying sometimes there are booms and things like that. Let's click on this. All these things that's going on. Israel, preachers, priests, and government had left the word of God behind and a compromise. And that's why the country was in the condition that it was. Though they had just as many priests and just as many preachers as they ever had, but they had left off the word of God. Got away from it. And it's always at that time that God sends somebody from nowhere that blasts it back into his path again. Some fearless person will rise up with the word of the Lord and shake the people back to the word again. I was just noticing here, I had written down something here that I 